Okay, welcome back to my channel, everybody. Back to the gym again today, this week, and today, gonna be working on legs. Well, every week, mostly one day for lower body, one day for upper body. At least for strength training. Strength and hypertrophy. It's a bit size and strength. Just doing a little warm up. A little bit of uh, backward walking with inclination. Today I'm thinking of doing uh, working on the usual. Working on split squats. And then doing some squats. With some. Uh, what was the weight that I did last week? Last week was about 30 kgs. So I'll see if I can increase that today. And see how it goes. Followed by working on some uh, leg extensions, lying hamstring curls, and then see if I want to do some deadlifts on back extensions, seated back extensions. So I usually do this for about three minutes. It's almost there. Still a bit sore from yesterday's boot camp session. Last week was uh, was doing it with 2.5 kg dumbbells each side. This week, increasing to 5 kg. Let's see, let's see how Last week was 2.5 kg and 10 reps. Let's see. 5 kg. Maybe 10 reps, isn't it? Two. Three. Hmm, not bad. 12 reps. Good, here we go. Anyways, this particular exercise I'm doing is called the Reverse Nordics. Helps to strengthen the quads as well as lengthen it. 
And I find it comes in helpful, especially with certain situations where my quad feels a little bit strained. If you plan to do this, there's also different variations that allow you to progressively work to a stage where you don't need any assistance. So find what is good for you in terms of placing blocks behind you or even a bench behind you that can help support you. Okay, here we go, 7.5s. I feel like I can do it because I managed to do 5 kg, um, doing about 12 reps. I want to try and hit like close to failure or failure around 8 so that I can work on uh, strength as well. Right now I'm training if I'm hitting about 12 rep range, more towards hypertrophy, but I want a little bit more strength involved as well for for my goal. So there we go. Strength threat range, ideally about five to eight. So that's what I'm trying to aim for in terms of wanting to achieve strength improvement. Let's do this. Let's see. Don't want to go too much too too soon. Because I'm still only like four or five weeks in of consistent training so far. So, gradual increase. Let's go. That's right. Four. I can do 12. Wow. Let's go. Looks like I can still do more. Have your weight. In this particular set, I decided to straighten out my hands so that it can give me more resistance for an added intensity. So if you want to vary according to what your capabilities are, feel free to do so. Make sure to brace the body by breathing in, retaining some of the breath, and then performing the exercise, and then coming back up and relaxing again. You want to make sure that you tense up the body as you're going down. Oh. 
Okay. Squats. Warming up. It's a little bit of heel elevation. Targeting more on quads and very essential that you get a good warm up before putting on more weight especially for squats such a big movement always has a tendency for injury on your lower back and then your knees if you're not too careful Not strong, good to set. Let's go. Thank you. kg on each side there we go. this is what i reached last week 10 kg at about 10 reps and 10 10 or more there we go Let's 
sana. You can go higher. Okay, last set. Twelve point five on each side. Let's go. Oh, just nice. Like a ten at least. Okay, very nice. And this particular exercise is called the seated good mornings. I do this because I want to help strengthen the arch of my back when I'm going down. This is good, especially for Olympic weightlifters or people who are doing like snatch, or even if you just want to build a stronger arch in your back for me, for example, and just basically working on that flexibility. It also helps to train your glutes as well as your hamstrings. So as you're going down, I'm always making sure that my back is straightened. I'm engaging my glutes as well as my hamstrings, feeling the stretch as much as I can and going down deeper into the stretch with each rep that I do. Adding on 2.5 on each side today. 2.5 kg.
Ooh. Add it some more. This time, five kg on each side. At least eight reps. Here we go. One more set. Okay, last set here. Oof. Let's go, let's go. to the next leg extensions and curls. Whenever I do my leg extensions oh. and lying leg curls, I try to superset them because I not only want to save time, but as I do one of the exercises, it helps to relax the opposite side. So it's great if you want to Here we go. make leg sure curls. that after every rest, the muscle on the opposite side is ready to start working. So this can be implemented in any other different push-pull kind of muscle groups. So for example, chest press and your rows. So for example, doing a chest press and rows together as a superset. Yeah. <sighs> 
57 kg. Just right at my weight. Okay. See. Four reps maybe? Let's go. It's always a way, always a way to train. Even when there isn't a machine that allows you to train this, you can always do it in free weight or body weight. Body weight version will be like this. Hey, resist yourself down. Good if you're just starting out. And then at home, maybe you have dumbbells or bottled water. Bottled water would normally work unless you have a heavy water bottle. But if not, just resist and do close to failure. That helps. Increasing the weight today from last week. Let's see, six to eight. Let's go. Oh, let's get one, two, three. Let's get two. Three. Nice and controlled.
Okay, done for today's session. Did it within about an hour and a half. Managed to fit in quite a lot. Quite happy with today's session. Managed to push through and increase the weight compared to last week. So, good progress. Let's see next week how we fare. Tomorrow will be recovery day. Probably the sauna or ice bath. Or both. And then after that, upper body following day. So I'll see you then. Catch you next one.